Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. I am Stephian FM, and today we have a tactic that I don't really know what to call it. Uh, the tactic itself, as you can see, it says 4231 Bayern Besvinger. Uh, on the Steam Workshop, however, it says asymmetric 4231 with Bundesliga with Wolfsburg. So what they did is they took Wolfsburg, brought them to the top, have a quick uh, two and a half minute video or so on it. Some screenshots, not a description, unfortunately. This is uh, from X the Bumbel again. We've seen him before, so you can see his link on YouTube. But I'm not really sure where the, the differences lie between what's on the screen for the 4231 Bayern Bezwenger uh, versus what you actually see in the, on the tactic page itself. As far as I can tell, it's the same thing. But you start out with a sweeper keeper in support. You have... Wait. You have complete wing back on the left in attack, a complete wing back on the right in support, ball playing defenders in defend centrally, deep line playmaker in defend. In front of them is a, is a ball winning midfielder, a shadow striker in attack, a winger in attack, an advanced forward in attack, and a complete forward in support. We've seen this shape before only about once or twice, but it, it looks like a two to me. Uh, but it is a balanced mentality in possession, attacking with the standard approach, play pass into space, play out of defense, passing directness is shorter, tempo is higher, mixed crosses, work the ball in the box, and run at defense. In transition, counter press, counter, distribute to the fullbacks and the center backs, and roll it out. And then out of possession, a high press line of engagement, a standard defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, get stuck in, and stop crosses. Now, how did it do for our three teams? Well, not too bad. Newcastle in 5th, Wolves in 7th, amazingly enough, Tottenham in 8th. Now, the points are where the issue is, though. Newcastle at 69 is not too bad at all. Wolves at 60 is definitely not too bad. Tottenham, though, with 56 is really not great. I mean, you hope they'd be in the 60s at least, kind of where they, they should be. But overall on the table, not bad at all. You have Europa League, you have Europa Conference League. Tottenham just miss out by a couple of matches. Newcastle schedule doesn't look too bad. A couple of losses here and there. I mean, you got a great run from Aston Villa all the way down to Norwich. Uh, but you go into the second half of the season, you're continuing on in the Carabao Cup quarterfinals. You do lose out in the semifinal first leg and you draw the second leg. You're out against Chelsea. FA Cup, you're out in the third round against Cardiff, sadly enough. Nil one. You should be able to win that, though, uh, if you take control of your, yourself. Wolves, much spottier. Carabao Cup second round, you're out immediately against Everton, 2-3. to three. Uh, You have some nice wins back-to-back -back and kind of spread out. But FA Cup third round, third round replays where you lose out against Bournemouth, 1-3. Overall, pretty spotty. Tottenham, actually not having a bad start to the season. Unfortunately, you got a smattering of losses here and there. Champions League, not doing all that well. You do have some win wins in there, though. Uh, Carabao Cup, continuing on FA Cup, you're continuing on everything. You do lose out to Manchester City in the Carabao Cup semifinal second leg. However, the first leg sees you go through. You get to the final of the Carabao Cup against Chelsea and lose nil two. sadly. You are dropped down into the Europa League. Uh, you got, wow, 6 nil over Lazio and then lose it 2-3. to three. You get through the, se the quarterfinals. Semifinals is where you lose out to Borussia Dortmund. Not by much, though. 2-3 at home, 1-3 away from home. So sadly, you know, you lose out in everything. FA Cup fourth round, you're, you're lost to Arsenal 1-4. Wow, that, that hurts. That's a kick in the pants. But overall, I mean, you've got far in some competition, so that's pretty good, even though you didn't get really high up in the table. Now, transfers, I did have a comment in one of the previous videos saying that transfers is pretty much pointless. Uh, if you want me to continue with transfers, let me know, especially in the FM24 tactics when they, those start coming out. Uh, let me know. But right now, we're seeing a lot of the same players. I'll do it now, but I'm kind of hesitant to do it in the future. But if you really want it, let me know and I'll keep it in. But for right now, as you can see, uh, Newcastle not really getting rid of anyone. As I mean, again, as you usually see, it's pretty much general that these things happen. Uh, John McLaughlin to Rangers, 51K. Ugarte, though, from Sporting, 50, uh, 52 million, is a fantastic one. Cameron Humphreys from Ipswich, 2.6. That is on the newer side, or at least different than what we usually see. Wolves do sell Jao Moutinho to Al Idihad for 3.1, so you would have some money in there. They do bring in Ascaya from Sporting, uh, Medeiros from Braga, and then Crespo from Fenerbahce, so they are spending some money, which is nice to see, finally. Tottenham getting some money for Davidson Sanchez and a smattering of other people, but not really too, for too much. Uh, they are spending, though, on Semedo, Shutala, Van de Beek, and Bikian again. 
So what does that mean for our squads? Well, you can see Nick Pope and Isaac on Newcastle having the most appearances there. Goals, Isaac comes back with 33 this time around. 23 for Wilson, not too shabby. Isaac having a not too bad season. I mean, only, what, seven assists there. But 17 for St. Maximin is fantastic. Average rating, 7.51. There you go, Isaac really picking it up uh, compared to a couple of tactics that we've seen the last time or two. Uh, Wilson was 7.29. So overall, not a bad season for Newcastle whatsoever. Wolves definitely dropping down a bit. Uh, 41 appearances for Saw. Collins with 38 plus one, so not too bad. I mean, goals-wise, though. Jimenez with 19, 15 for Cunha. Great tallies for them. Unfortunately, not great tallies overall. Just, I mean, they're still up in the table, but they're just not getting a lot of goals. They don't have that natural goal scorer, it seems like. I mean, Cunha with 15 is fantastic. Jimenez with 19, but, you know, they, it's not consistent on the tactics that we see time and time again. But Cunha with nine assists, uh, Sarabia with seven, so, eh, okay. You're kind of getting on the higher side of average, but average rating 717 for Cunha, 715 for Jimenez. Yeah, again, it's fairly average for this team. Uh, when you have a great tactic to put with this team, they don't really all do that well, unfortunately. It's just kind of average. And then you got Tottenham, 52 appearances for Hugh Lloris. Kane up there with 50 plus four. Uh, Goals-wise, though, if I can get there, it's 29 for Sun, 27 for Kane. Not too bad. 27 on the higher side of average for Kane. I mean, he's gotten a lot of goals in a lot of these tactics that we've done. Kulisevsky with 15 assists. Kane with 14. Not too bad there. 729 for Kane. Again, I want to see that up. Uh, it's pretty average for him, a little higher than average. But still, 30, 27 goals, 14 assists, and only 729. It just seems low. Data hub wise, as you can see for Newcastle, uh, quite decent defensively and very good in attack, some strong attacking numbers. But if we look at Wolves starting to decrease, sh extremely shaky defensively, very good in attack. I mean, you're spreading it out a little bit. And then Tottenham, eh, really general performance is right around the league average, a little bit above on a couple things, but shaky defensively, very or just good in attack. Overall, I, not great, just kind of on the average side. And as with an attacking tactic, as we've seen time and time again, you get the attacking stats, Newcastle Wolves and Tottenham all in the most goals. Few shots against are there with Tottenham and Wolves. Most possession, I mean, fairly average. I mean, even 53% is on the lower side of average uh, for what we usually see. Most dribbles made, you got all three. Uh, no, Some goalkeeper work, but not really. Most tackles won, Newcastle. No best pass completion whatsoever. Most shots for, again, attacking, you got all three. Most points for game, as you would expect. And if we look at the player overviews, most goals, Isaac with 30 is a fantastic result. Callum Wilson with 21. Jimenez, Son, and Kane all up there as well. Uh, even 17 for Kane. I mean, that's kind of on the lower mark for him for Premier League. Most assists, St. Maxman, Trippier, Wilson all up there. 11's on the higher side of average from what we normally see. So anything above that, anything really above 10 for me is really good. Uh, most player of the match awards, 10 for Isaac. And it kind of below 10 for this is, is on the average side. Usually you have the players in these stats, but... I mean, we see them time and time again at pretty much the same marks. Uh, best pass completion, Loris and Saw, of course. Most dribbles made. You got a couple players. So, you, I mean, again, the defensive pieces are sort of there in spots. Not all together, you know, all over the place. But target up there, Almiron up there. Most key passes, as you see, Trippier and Sarabe usually in the top five at least. Uh, if they're not, then it's not been a good day for them at the office. But most shots, Isaac Jimenez, Cunha, and Wilson all up there. Overall, I mean, the tactic didn't do a bad job. A lot of times what I've said in the past is that if it's an attacking tactic and, you know, a, a, an asymmetric tactic, you'll do really well. The asymmetric part didn't seem to do all that well this time around. But, I mean, you still have Wolves up there with 60. Not, not too huge amount of a difference between where they're supposed to be and where they are in this table. But, I mean, it, in the end, they did fairly well. It's something to take a look at and at least maybe gleam some insight off of how things are being done. But that is it for me. Sefian FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.